Thanks for tuning in to uh, Raging Bunny's channel. I'm back after about six months or four months, whatever the fuck it was. Basically, going to Ranger School, came out the other side with a tab. So I figure I'd make a video talking about some of the points, some of the key uh, points for success I had down there. Um, I know a lot of guys going into it, you know, get nervous and shit, and uh, you, you should be, um, because it's really, it's like the great freaking unknown. So... I'll, I'll talk over a couple of points and try to impart some some wisdom with you uh, before you head on down there, if you're just interested in going. Um, I'll talk over my time there and basically just give you some tips on how to make life easier. Um, all right, so we'll start with the like the the pre ranger school type of thing. Obviously, you're gonna be training a lot. When I was training, I was always always working out, and I felt guilty if I wasn't. Um, one of my instructors, the guy, the controller who sent me down there, said it was basically like a beast. You know what I mean? Going down to ranger school, it's like slaying the freaking beast. So, yeah, you know, it kind of got, gets in your head a little bit. And, you you know, you have to get freaking prepared and be ready to go on and, you know, to, to face this thing. It's, it's, it's quite the challenge. And it's not just for the time you're down there. It's, you know, once I got the slot for ranger school, I was, you know, I knew it was, I was, you know, knocking on the door. And I had to be freaking ready, you know, to go down there and, and kick its ass. Um, the controllers who, who sent me, uh, they put me through a lot. They put all the guys they sent through a lot because the guys they had sent previously had, had failed out and it was just kind of pissing them off. They were sending all these guys down to ranger school and, um, you know, none of them were coming out with tabs and it just, it was really pissing them off because these guys are rangers themselves. And I remember one day before a PT test that they record for record and, uh, Basically, they would, you know, weigh us against each other to see who would be com most competitive for the slots and who would get the slots. They had us out there at, like, 3 in the morning um, and had us in formation for about two hours just talking down to us, you know, telling us that we, you know, that we were just wannabes, that, you know, we didn't know what, what it took. And and to be honest with you, there's, you know, you got to listen to it to, to an extent, but at the same time, you got to get freaking mad. Like, you got to be like, this guy don't know who the fuck he's talking to. And you literally have to kind of let that shit go in one ear and out the other. I mean, it's they're going to sit there and stand in front of you, nose to nose, and just talk to you like, you know, fucking, what are you even doing here? What You know, who who the hell are you? Who the fuck do you think you are coming out of here? You think you're hot shit? I mean, you ain't nothing. And they'll they'll talk to you like that and just try to sap your freaking confidence. And you you got to not listen to it. You have to be like, motherfucker, you don't say it, but you got to be thinking, motherfucker, you don't know me, you know? And that was actually what, you know, when we got through all these training sessions and, and we're actually heading down to ranger school, ranger school. You know, that's what our captain said. He said, you know, I was down there. I was, uh, 35 years old and they, the RIs looked me in the eye and said, do you think you're going to make it like less than, you know, 1% of, uh, guys who are, you know, over 35 make it. And, and he was said, he was thinking his head, motherfucker, you don't know me. So, you know, uh, that was just motivation there, but that's the mindset you gotta have. You know, there's gonna be guys trying to get in your head and trying to sap your confidence, trying to knock you down a level. You know, don't think you're hot shit, but don't fucking listen to them either. You know, th you know, think you're you're fucking there to to complete ranger school, you know, and you know have confidence in yourself. Um, just think you're just a bad mother. Just anything they, they throw at you, just say, you motherfucker, I'm here. I came here my own free will. So go ahead, throw it. What's next, Demi? So then you get down there, and you know, the first thing obviously is rap week. Um, for me, it was like living in a freaking haze, man. I'll tell you. I was down there for the PT test and I was like kind of like sleeping standing out. I was like, you know, I wasn't really nervous at all. I was just like, like, fuck, here it is, man. It, it's begun. And, you know, it's like chaos around you. And you just got to kind of embrace it and just be like, you know, I'm part of it, you know, and just not get sucked out, but just know what you have to do. Focus, mental focus, not get shaken and just go ahead and do it. You know, push ups, just freaking touch your chest to the ground and then lock all the way back up. You know, you have to do what, 49, I think was the standard for me. And you only do the standard. You only go to 49 and they tell you to get up. But, you know, they'll go one, 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 you know, and not count your reps if you don't try to do them half-assed or really fast or something like that. So my, my advice for push-ups is just go very slow and deliberate. Touch your chest on the ground. Pause for a second and, you know, fully extend up. One, two. Get to 49. They won't count any off and you'll be done. You know, it's too easy. Likewise, with the sit-ups, just make sure you're kind of going slow and deliberate. It's like only like 58 or something. Make sure your head is over your spine or... 
yeah, your head is over your the base of your spine, some kind of crap like that. Just do it, you know, just do a setup. They don't count them off, really. But just make sure you do it right. You know, don't don't like kip or throw your all your. You know, it's really about going deliberately. You know, that's that's the key for anything on the, the RPFT. And then you got your your six pull ups again. Just lock all the way out at the bottom and go up. You know, and just do six and you're good. And then you got your five mile run. Um, the five mile run ain't too bad. I was a slow guy. I think I did it in like 37 minutes. You know, you have 40 minutes to complete five miles. So it, it's got one big hill at the turnaround point to give you a popsicle stick, and then you got to run back another two and a half. But it, it's really not that bad. Um, yeah, the key is just you know training beforehand. You know, I ran it uh, at a, a Civil War battlefield that had had really big hills. You know, and and it just kicked the shit out of me. You know, before Ranger School and like. I would be running that thing in the dead of uh, summer, and I would be, like, just dying. Like, fucking, I'd have a, a hoodie on, and I would get, like, three miles out, and I would be fucking gassed, and just, like, holy shit, I'm going to fucking die out here. You know what I mean? Like, the, I was out in the middle of the damn battlefield, and just, like, the sun's beating down on me, caking me. You know, I feel like a goddamn rotisserie chicken in there. But, you know, and I, I walk back, and I feel bad about walking back, but I look around, and I was the only one fucking out there. You know what I mean? So even if sometimes, you know, you have a workout or something that, you know, isn't really great, you know, just the fact that you're out there fucking doing it probably is enough, you know? Just, you know, just just never stop working. But if you do that, the fucking five mile will take care of itself, you know? So next you got your water confidence. Um, and this is just a bunch of bullshit. It can be fun. You, you'll you you'll take your uh, dry change of clothes. You'll run on down to Victory Pond with that shit in your hands. And it, it fucking sucks. Like, I had a trash bag full of all my gear and shit. And we went down there. We did the, uh, the fucking balance beam thing where you climb up fucking really high. Like, that shit is really high. And it kind of gets in your head. But again, that's when you say, I'm a bad motherfucker. You know, this shit is fucking nothing. And I, I was afraid of heights before I went there. But again, that shit just stops facing you. You, you know, you stop, get, you stop getting so much sleep. And then you just fucking, you just do it. You know what I mean? And it, it's, it just completely destroys your fear of heights. And it's pretty fucking awesome. Because, like, I was, I had a legitimate fear of heights. Like, I don't think anyone's really comfortable. I mean, I guess there's some fucking nuts out there who like heights. But I don't think anyone's really fucking comfortable about being it at an elevation where if you fall, you're going to get fucking hurt or die. You know what I mean? Like, that's just, that's unsettling to anyone. But, you know, so you kind of just get through it. And the balance beam, it's like half a foot wide, you know. It's not so bad. I mean, it, it's fucking like windy up there. It's like, it's high up, man. And you know, you're not going to get fucking, you know, they can't kill you with anything, but it's like, fuck, it's pretty high. You know, if, you, if you hit that water, you might fucking get knocked out. And if you smack the water, like belly flop from up there. But you just, you know, you just go across it quickly. You do the little step over thing. Try not to go back. Try not to have to go back and shit, you know. You know, if there's going to be someone fucking screaming at you. Just do it and just try not to let them get in your head. Again, they're trying to sap your confidence. Just get across it. You know, and then you do the monkey crawl out, touch the tab, ask permission to drop, and drop into fucking water. It's going to be cold as shit, you know. You swim over the fucking ladder, get out. Then you do the little swim test thing and, you know, fucking just, just concentrate. Because they give you shit you have to say. Like, you know... After you're done the swim test, you'll have to fucking go and report to some fucking sergeant, you know, you know, roster number, whatever, whatever, you know, such and such, you know, completed swim test, you know, some bullshit, but just like fucking take it. You're, you're out of breath because you're be running everywhere. So just fucking take a, a chill pill, take a deep breath, realize what you have to say and just fucking say it very slow and deliberately. Because if you fuck it up, they're going to fucking have you doing all kinds of shit and just trying to fuck with you. You know, that's, that's, that's ranger school. Basically, they want you to fuck with you as much as they can. So, just you 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 try to atta- attract as least amount of negative attention to yourself as possible. That's the fuck. It's like a skill you deserve. You, you try to fucking blend into the crowd, and again, it's like, oh, that's not fucking leadership, but that's that's fucking ranger school, man. They're trying to just fucking they get down. You know, they want to get people and just fucking beat them down. But after you've done that shit, you run up and do the fucking slide for life thing where you run up and you're fucking soaking wet on this metal tower. You're fucking gassed. And then you fucking zip line down, and you know you have to fucking scream something as you zip line down, and you hit the water, and you know it's all it's it's not bad, it's kind of fun. And then you'll run back with all the wet shit, and you know here have a wet weather bag. It's not on the packing list, but have one because you'll fucking go, you'll run back, and if you I had a trash bag, my shit was all soaking wet, right? So I, I changed my clothes, and all my wet shit's in this trash bag, and we'd run about two miles back on the road. All my shit fucking blew up. It just like ripped up and fucking flew all over the fucking road. So I was like, ah, fuck, you know what I mean? Like, it's just bullshit. So you want to just be able to to have a wet weather bag and just, you know, it's going to suck either way, but, like, at least if your shit don't blow up, it'll be a little less suck. You know, Ranger School, that's that's the, another thing. It, it's designed to fucking suck. It's like, um, it's like pledging for a fucking fraternity, and you're kind of just there to stick it the fuck out. I, I really do think that's, that's most of what it is, because... 
you know, if you're an infantry guy, you're going to know all the shit you learn in ranger school anyway. It's really like a fucking test to see how much fucking shit you can take, you know? So, but that's, you know, you'll get back from that and you'll do your land nav the next morning. You'll fucking wake up really early, do that shit. You know, my advice for that is just, it's a pretty big course and there's a swamp right in the middle of it. So, you know, there, again, land nav is like something you have or you don't have. Like, I was always okay at it. You know, I could find like four out of five. I found four out of five out there. But I fucking, you know, I took off early in the morning. You'll start really early. You'll go into daylight. It'll be like two hours of fucking darkness, two hours of daylight. And you have to find four out of five points. But I just took off running. You know, I was like, fuck, you know, this is a big course. You plot your shit. Make sure that shit's fucking accurate. Double check. You know, taking five extra minutes to double check all your shit at the beginning is fucking vital. And it'll save you fucking hours later. You know what I mean? So you fucking plot that shit wrong. You are fucked. There's no way in hell you're going to fucking get through the fucking course. So make sure you plot that shit twice, you know, check over it, and then fucking, you know, I would say jog to your fucking points, because it's a big, it's a big map, a big area, you know, and, you know, I was fucking looking for my first point for like an hour, and I was getting fucking nervous and shit, but then I finally found it and got in a rhythm, but by me running to all my points and shit, I, you know, when I found my fourth point, and I was like, fuck, you know, it's self-correcting, so when you find your point, you'll know if you're correct, so I found all my four points, and was, you know, just like, okay, time to head back, and I just walked my ass back, I had like plenty of time. Because you're starting to get tired at this point, too. You know, you've been up, you haven't got much sleep, and you're just like, you know, fuck, like this. It's like a big uh, adrenaline dump, you know, because you're like, fucking, this is fucking Rangers, this is Rap Week, you know, trying to perform your best. And then you're just like, shit, man, I'm fucking tired. It's been a day, and I've, I'm already gassed. But yeah, you just, just got to do it, and it'll work out. So stay out of that fucking swamp. You know, don't talk to anyone either. Don't fucking talk to anyone for no fucking reason. Because their all eyes love to fucking act like they're a fucking student and lost and try to get you to talk or something, and they'll fucking you know drop you right there. So don't just don't do it. You know if you if you know this dude is a fucking student and you like confirmed it, you can fucking you know like point and shit and signal. But just you know have your head on a swivel. Again, all arrangements go have your head on a swivel for our eyes because they're gonna look for you. You know looking to fuck with you. So if you can you know if you can help your buddy, I'm making a lot of rustling noise by the fucking the point, you know, I mean, that's what I fucking did, I, you know, I wasn't, like, slamming the fucking, uh, sign with my, my, the butt of my rifle, like some people had done, but fucking, I was, like, you know, I'd rust all that, like, <clears throat> cough, you know what I mean, like, you know, fucking do whatever, help your buddy out, you know, because that guy will remember you later on, and you're, you end up in his fucking squad, and he's, like, yo, man, thanks, dude, you know, like, it's just, you want to look out for each other, but you don't want to also fuck yourself over, so, again, you gotta be careful, so that's land nav, so those are the first three things, and, and finally, you'll, you'll, you'll wrap up with a 12 miler, you know, rap week, they call it rap week, but it's really only like three fucking days, and it's it's just really quick, fast, and intense. Um, the big thing with the 12-miler is just pack that shit tight, have your ruck fucking configured the way you want to have it, you know, have everything squared away for the RIs, and just fucking just, you know, realize that this is the last event of rap week. Make sure your packing list is, packed, is set to a T, because they will have a layout right after that fucking bitch. And just fucking go for it. I mean, just fucking, you know, I just got to the front of the line and just, you know, ran. I went in full retard, you know, like ran the first. It's two laps, two six-mile laps around uh, in Benning. And there's not, it's not that bad in terms of hills. So, again, if you're used to running a course with hills, like, you'll you'll get there and you'll be pleasantly surprised. I think I, you know, I, I ran the first six miles and then I walked pretty much the second six miles. And I fucking, I came in 15 minutes under time, so that's, you know, pretty, I got some breathing room there, and I could have, if I wanted to, like, or I needed to, I could have ran a little faster, but again, you're, you're getting tired here, too, you know, you're getting fucking, it's like, this is the end of rap week, I haven't slept much, you know, they're fucking pushing you, so, you know, anything can really help, you know, so I, I ran at the beginning, you know, um, like, and again, look out for our eyes, because I was holding my, my rifle with one hand, you know, and then I was running, so I was like, you know, pumping with the left hand and the right hand, like kind of like the running, because if you're holding the rifle in a low ready, it's hard to run, I mean, because like your your arms are locked up, so I was holding like a fucking briefcase, I guess, or whatever, and I've actually been told by, you know, a lot of guys, a lot of sergeants down range, that that's how you you can hold your fucking rifle like that and run, because you can you can have your weapon up to, to fire quickly, but you know, I could be fucking wrong on that, I don't know, I'm not a, you know, I'm not the fucking deciding factor on that. But anyway, that's how I like to run. If I have a rifle, I'm trying to run somewhere fast. Like, you know, that's how I'm going to run. But the fucking RIs were, like, sniping me on that. Like, they fucking drove up in the car and were like, motherfucker, if you don't fucking hold your rifle right, you know, we're going to fucking give you a major minus and fucking, you know, we're going to stop you and, like, add 10 minutes on your time. I'm like, you just don't want to fuck with it. You know what I mean? So I was like, then the rest of the fucking time, I was like, made sure I was at the low ready and, and everything was good. So you don't want to fuck with it. You know, um, you'll you'll go back, have the layout, and then you'll get a shot of penicillin in the ass. It's freezing fucking cold, 
and they do that for to just to make it hurt like that that shot will hurt for like three days like it really will like, they, they take it right in your ass and it's deep and to be honest with you it just it sucks but you know you just again it's a suck fest you just gotta get through it so that's basically rap week um and you'll have a bunch of layouts too you'll have the fucking packing list layout and that shit's just fucking super stressful that shit was probably the most stressful and like the most annoying thing in ranger school it really got to me man like fucking they would have you lay dump all your shit out and like in the dirt and the gravel and shit and then like all right they give you like fucking two minutes to pack all your shit away so you just fucking literally are just throwing your shit in the bags and you don't have you know any time to sort anything so you know and then even you know your bags are packed to the fucking brim anyway so you know it's just it's just fucking frustrating so just you know just fucking get through it you, it ends you know, but I remember I was fucking furious. Like, I was, like, literally, like, I was physically stressed, like, trying to, like, get, move really quickly and pack this shit in a bag. And I was, like, my back was hurting me because you're standing at an awkward angle holding a duffel bag with one hand and shoving shit in it. Like, and, you know, it just sucked. But just be ready for that shit. Just help and help your buddies out, too. Fucking, you know, one guy will get done packing and you'll have, like, a minute left. And then, like, you know, fucking three guys will be soup sandwiches. And, you know, they want to see you help your buddies out. That's one of the big things for these little layouts. So that's a little tip. All right, so that's basically wrap week. I'll, uh, Next segment, I'll talk about Darby Mountains and Swamps and maybe give you a little bit of tips on the gear and how, how you lay that shit out. So, that'll be in the next clip. Peeps. <laughs>